Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, so today, uh, I got my HCP VR, which is pretty awesome. Um, so today, I'm going to show you how I usually do uh, the masks that I use in my course. Um, so I couldn't decide which one, which pixels to use, but I thought 256 is kind of easier to use. Um, first of all, um, the eyes is the eyes is what you're going to base the mask around. Um, it's going to be what you incorporate around the eyes that are going to make the mask look better than it actually would be if you just did the design and then cut the eyes out in the middle. Um, that's just me. Um, if you guys find that um, that you find that making the design first and then putting the eyes in, if that's easy for you then by all means go ahead um, so you all probably know that from my last tutorial I showed you guys what the um, mirror button does which means it basically by zooming in to the halfway point I can literally do this side and have the other side be flipped over to the other one so that they become symmetrical on both sides um, <coughs> so yeah um, I got my HEP VR, which is pretty awesome. So I will be uploading more tutorials like this. So if you guys have any have any requests, then just give me a personal message or post a comment on my channel. Um, so right now I'm just doing like random designs that are really random. Um, I'm kind of getting used to the whole spikes kind of look. Um, or tribal if you want to call it that. I really like the way it looks. Um, it just gives it that more of a beastly look. Um, so as you can see, the mask is coming along but um, it looks a bit too rounded, a bit too small. Um, so in a minute I think I start to edit it. Um, but this would be the basics of a uh, mask. You could easily use this. Um, I mean like it's kind of a hurricane style mask right now so um yeah here we go I'm just rubbing out what uh, the original line and um I just start to draw some more random lines I do find that if you just don't have any idea of what you want to use but you just draw something that you think would look good then that becomes easier um, I know that drawing a picture makes the paint tool much easier to draw but I think that if you draw as you go then it makes it that little better to be honest um, so yeah right now I'm doing another layer that will become around the mask so it will like link to the jawline sort of area um, this one's kind of like um, one that would be used for a face paint more than a mask um, but with the right color combinations on the mask then it could work so um, I will put this up on community creations so if you guys want to just type uh, I am kill switch or just kill switch or even fam um, it will come up on the search bar uh, if you have your friend on PSN then just go to friend only and it will be like on the most recent so <coughs> um, so yeah as you can see I'm just like mirroring it off now just to see what it looks like um, I'm not liking the line I just drew um, so yeah, I'm just going to redo that bit. Um, so yeah, um, there's going to be more paint tools to come. I've got a couple more things in mind that I want to do. Um, like I said, if you have any ideas for a video, that would be quite appreciated. Because, I don't know, I, I kind of get a little bit bored. Um, Say so, yeah, for doing just entrances. I don't like to upload like just random entrances. I'd rather do a tutorial on something or do a mix or something. Um, 
I'm not too sure if my tutorials are that like, great compared to other people because I'm like for example a couple of people in fam they're really good at paint tools like obviously you got two twisted Merc and stigma um, those two are fucking awesome so will, their uh, channel link will be in the description so you should go and check that, them out um, I do think this is quite a good mask now if you look at it now I mean that could easily be transferred into even a kick pad or like the um, front bit of some tights maybe um, so the colouring I do think that the colouring is one of the most important things that you do um, grey and yellow I've already proved are like quite a good combination so I'm going to use that now as you can tell that looks pretty fucking awesome um, so that is how like the basics of a design for a mask or even a face paint um, you can always mess around with the face paint um, defaults that they have in the game and then add that on top of that to make that look a little bit better or obviously you can just edit or use that as a template to make your own mask um, this one um, I did make like last week um, I don't know if you can tell but where the eyes are there's a lot of dots there um, and it's a white mask so it looks like he's got a blurry vision kind of thing but yeah that was one and I'm sure you guys remember this one this is a uh, tribal skull that I did uh, last year which is even better so subscribe to me guys and I'll see you soon